I'm Nightshade, and that's my mom. Hello, I'm Sophie, and that's my daughter. This is going to be a universal read. Right. Let's mm. see what's going on. Oh, the Nine of Cups. Look oh, at that. That's good. And the Emperor. And the Fool. Look at that. All right. Okay, I'm going to take a sneak peek. Yeah, good. Good stuff already going on. All right, we've already called Spirit in to our home and to the table. So let's see where the energies lie for the universal read. Could be for anyone, could be about anything. Let's see what we've got, Spirit. Give us some cards for this throw. I'm going to take it. Empress. So there's some Libra energy. All right. Mm, nice. Let's see what else you've got, Spirit. What else do you want to put out there with the Empress? She's fertile in mind and body. All right, eight. Got a lot to do with communication. That could be the arrows of love, too. Is she sending or receiving? Let's see what the cards say. Is she sending messages out? or Depends on if she's creating or if she's uh, feeling in the fertile aspect. Judgment. Ten, ten pinnacles. I can't be bad at all. Look at that. All right. I know this isn't wanting to throw either, so let's get my Palladini deck since the Gilded Tarot isn't wanting to give out any information. It gave us one big fat angel. Yep. There's the moon. Oh, this speaks of big dreams. Lots of big, huge um, energies with that Empress Judgment Moon. Started out small and grew. Yeah, just like a pregnancy, it starts out as little tiny and then it gets bigger and bigger. I mean, and just like you said, somebody made a judgment call and well, bam. This looks like, I mean, just doesn't this look like an angelic influence, like a celestial influence, angelic influence, God, goddess divine, however you want to say that. Doesn't that look like it? Yes. Remember, this judgment is Gabriel's trumpet. When that sounds, it's the judgment call. Things get swept up, right? Things move. This is no longer stagnant. This is moving. There is huge movement here. Coming from her, going to her. She sent it out. She's ready to get it back, maybe. Because there's a re redo, redo, rethink, reawaken, all that kind of stuff. There she is mm -hmm. with those eight wands coming out, harnessing that power. And That's if you look at this card. Shit, tower. Mm -hmm. All right, look at that. What needs to be put asunder is put asunder that's it there's no there's no rebuilding this thing so that's funny that we got redo rethink and this started out as small if you look at the little kitty cat and but it grows and there's the kitty into cat into a what is that a panther a big black panther yeah so look at that how cute But this tower underneath that empress, oh goodness, what does that say? 
I will. Wow. Something about that speaks of Sleeping Beauty and um, awakening to, like, you know, just saying. There's the Knight of Cups right next to the tower. Look at that. Because there's obviously like a reawakening here. There's obviously like this, you know, princess, mother, female archetype. This is your female archetype of the deck. This is the one that everybody looks at and says, well, she's a princess. She's the queen. <clears throat> All right. Oh, three of cups. You got some celebration going on there. You've got some... Thoughts running through all of the heads there. I would expect something different after the Knight of Cups if this was really talking about love. Love. Because Three of Cups is, not that it's impersonal, but it just doesn't feel like, well, bam, that doesn't feel like a proposal. Or no. if it is, it's like... Six of Rods. <sighs> yeah, it's like between... Like I said, Sleeping Beauty, she has, like, um, obligations. You have to. You have to do this thing. This thing that you don't want to do, you have to do it anyway. You have to put aside your own feelings, your own, what you want, your creativity, your fertility, and you have to put it aside for good. That's it. It's gone. And you have to take up these obligations that are, like, divine in nature Something strange here, huh? Like <clears throat> arranged marriage. Um, really, though, something that um, truly, not just like religious, you guys, because I know a lot of people still do that in parts of the world, but I mean something that's like for your family, for the good of all, for, because there's your family card, that Ten of Pentacles. This speaks of making that decision, making that judgment call, for your family, not specifically you. Underneath, you don't really want to, but for the good of all, you're ready to compromise, come together, meeting of the minds, and move forward, even though it's not specifically what you want to do. And look what I got, three of wands. And mine was the star. Oh, the three of rods and, I mean, the three of cups and then the three of wands. Because uh, you have you have plans for the future. You're looking way far out into the future. There we go. Like more meeting of the minds back up against the wall. This speaks of somebody who just really put themselves in a position that uh, mm -hmm. they're regretting, number one. But you're doing it the way I'm feeling it is you're doing it for like the greater good. You're doing it for like the good of your family. You're doing it so that your, I don't know, your children have a husband. You have somebody that can provide for you. You integrated two families. You guys are from two, I don't know, what different, you know, opposite Background. sides of the track, d different backgrounds, exactly. And you're trying to bring this thing together right here. This judgment call was made in your favor and it was made of your favor. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes here and that tells you with that moon card. There's a lot going on behind the scenes here but your intention is really quite pure. There's four swords, one, two, three, four. More of like meditation energy really deeply thinking about this more celestial influence because now we've got the moon and the star like that divine huge planetary gigantic influences you don't seem to be doing anything out of your control and nothing that you're that you're not choosing to do it's not like you're being forced you're doing it for that purpose you're doing it because the way you're looking at it in the future is like, this is definitely going to get me further where I want to go. Put me in a safer, better place. 
in a safer, better place. So now we have some of that fourth house energy coming in with that four swords next to that star saying, it's okay, rest your mind. It's okay. Well, people think you're making the right decision. Yeah. I mean, you're presenting all of this as it's, you're just love and smiles and you're presenting as this right here. Love, happiness all around, smiles. This is a wonderful thing. Everything from here on out is going to be like really great and fruitful and bountiful and abundant and plentiful. And I've got plenty and that speaks of that for sure. But man, oh man. Mm. You're really fighting your subconscious, your deeper self. That other part of you. That darker part of you. You're fighting it. Mm, here we go. That's exactly something that speaks of that. You're fighting that darker part of you, and this girl knows it. Because she's light and dark. As opposed to her, she's all light and... Bright and, and sunshine and mm -hmm. happy daisies and... Yep. Look at that. She knows some stuff, and it's not always pleasant, super wonderful things. Underneath that compromise, underneath that judgment call. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, I know your heart is in the right place. You're doing this to help people, your family, you, your kids, your family, whoever, whoever. See? That right there speaks volumes in this read. Because there we are, again, with that horse energy and that six of rods, that family, legacy, huge, built a whole lifetime's culmination. And that six of rods, and now you've got that knight of pentacles just says, this is it, stable, grounded, everything that, this brings this. Everything that you do while you're in this space, this space, this space, this space, all of these bring this. So you know what you're doing. You absolutely do. Hmm. Yes. This person knows what they're doing. They're playing the mortar. Mm. Five of cups. And you like it that way. You like, uh, you like everybody toasting you. You like mm. to look like the winner. You're doing it all for your family. Mm. This is what showed itself a second ago. Ace of Pentacles. So now we've got major, big, huge Ace energies on the table. That's big. That's a, that means that this is going to happen. This thing is going to happen. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is going to happen. It's going right here underneath this, underneath you, underneath that tower, star, ace of pentacles. It seems like there's truly no turning back. Now. What is it? The Seven of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Rods, and the Queen of Rods. Well, so we've got double three wands. That just speaks of like looking out ownership, really looking out dominion. This is a good move that's going to give you a lot of power, prestige, just like 
I think what she's saying, though, is true, playing the martyr. Not to others, but to yourself. I think to yourself you're playing the martyr. I'm going to do this, and it doesn't matter whether I like it or not. I'm going to do it because it's best. <clears throat> Instead of wholeheartedly just going, you know what? This is a really great thing. Yeah, it, uh, and it's great from where to go. There's nothing wrong here. Mm -mm. Except you. That dark exactly. part of you. Exactly. Except for that dark part of you where you're like, I just, I don't like this. There's something in you that just says, I don't like this at all. Then why are you going through with it? I realize that it's for family to put them in a better place, a better position uh, for the money. But this is of your own free will. You're doing this willingly. So, I'm going to say what I see here, what the cards are showing me, what Spirit is showing me. This is someone, it started out with the Empress, which could be Libra, but it could be anyone who's been offered marriage, and you're going, you've accepted it, and you're going to get married. It's going to bring you the stability you want, the money you want, your family's going to be taken care of, but you have dreams of being the martyr, and you want people to know it. And shit, give me this person. I'll, yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> so there's what is There's gotta it? be other ways if. What is that then? What is this thing that's making you want to do this? It's like, uh, yeah, it's no hardship for you. It's no, no hardship for you at all. But what have you've been the center of attention for so long and are and you want to continue to be the center of attention and look I, I don't look know at this ten of cups let's see look at this scene this is what this is what you're in for this is what's waiting for you this is what you're about to get this is what is happening and you want it you do and you want the stability it brings and the uh income for your oh family to be gosh. taken care of but please don't tell me you're thinking of running away look at that i'm not going to take it i'm going to put it back in the deck there's six of swords this speaks of like are, are you just afraid of love are you just afraid of commitment what is this thing in the background underneath it all that's making you think this is a bad thing you don't want to do this it's making you feel like a martyr there's some kind of psychological defect here. Yeah, it's psychological because there's yes. nothing wrong with the proposal. No. You're getting everything that you want, not only for yourself, but for your family. Look at this. Empress, star, ace of pentacles. Everything's so... there, but uh, you have dreams of... something else but you've chosen to be the mortar even if silently to take this and run with it do you really think that's going to make the other people in this situation happy oh my goodness whatever this thing is that is represented by the moon you've got to deal with that before you ruin a really good thing this is a really good thing for you, for the other person. You guys can do a lot together for yourselves, for your family. You can really have, you know, the quintessential, like, um, family that it looks like you really want, but underneath it is this psychological defect. But if you can get over it, this is what's waiting for you. This is you. This could be your life. Don't give it up or run away because you're afraid of, what, someone telling you what to do? 
Yeah, this speaks of what you were saying. <clears throat> Someone who's been the center of attention has Ex gotten that's everybody. That's what I was going to say. Since you were tiny, you've grown up the center of attention. And suddenly, people are looking at this person you're going to marry as if, oh my God, he is the be-all and end-all. Yeah. And the attention is not on you. Um, I think this is just a... Like facing up. This is a narcissist. Yeah, this is terrible. Well, when there's Air nothing sign. wrong with the, uh, you're perfectly happy underneath to take yeah. it and run with it and have all the all that it brings into your life or your family's life into the situation, making it stable. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. But the attention's not on you. Mm. The attention's not on you. And uh, it looks like you're trying to start picking fights now because you are... Now the swords are showing up over here. Six of swords, five of swords. All these sword energies coming in. Mm. That's not what we want. Nine of cups, ace of cups. There's your nine of cups. There's ace of cups. So... So this person oh, is, is everyone the... you've wished for. Yeah. That if there was a pure love and a really good match, you this found is it. it. I you mean, you found it. I don't know if you're waiting for some kind of weird bell or something to go off. Um, there's the, the trumpet, trumpet to sound. <laughs> I I really don't know. Yeah, just like you said, if it's just somebody who's been the center of attention for so long and you're getting married now, you're not going to be one. You're going to be you know, one half. You oh, want it. You want it this so badly, which tells me yes. that things weren't that going that well for you before you met this person. Because this person is not even in this read. No. It is no. all you, yeah. you, 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 you. Whoever you are, whatever sign you are, it's all you. And, uh, you the person mm. you're going to marry is not even showing up in these cards in this throw. They're not even showing up. Gosh, this is crazy. Why would you not want to do this for yourself? I mean, this person is uh King of Rods. Uh, yeah, it's making I mean, he's I husband got, material. He's uh, he's father material. He wants to give you everything. And you're willing to accept it. You're just not willing to accept it. For heaven's sake, yeah. On these terms, you're not willing to play second fiddle at all. Whoever this is for, whoever this throw is for, if it resonates with you, you need to take a deep mm. look at yourself. Because you, the other person is not even showing up in, the, in this throat until down here at the bottom, showing that he's uh, definite marriage material, father material, husband material. So, and somebody's looking, there's the king of rods, there's you. So why would you not want to be someone's queen? queen? King, if you're the king, yeah. Which is so oh my goodness, <clears throat> just uh, you need to think long and hard about what it is that you are truly upset about. Yeah, I just keep getting the same thing. It keeps saying the same thing. You just are... So whatever the issue is, whatever brought you to this point, um, being the center of attention all your life, and suddenly people are uh, carrying on about... <coughs> excuse me. The other person instead of you, I just show... I, I think the courts are showing... 
a narcissist who has always been the center of attention, who has a platter of gold laid at their feet. Yeah. They want it. Yeah. They'll accept it. For real. This cannot get any better. This really can't get any better. I hope whoever I'm getting strong Aquarius from this, but like we always say, it could be anybody. If it's because that Aquarius would be really happy being the center of attention, being like on social media and showing everybody who they are and how, you know, just really socially minded, it really expansive, especially with that sun energy coming in. This is somebody who thinks that you're their queen, king, however you want to put it. So, wow. Well, you know, um, there's not even a warning here. You've got two cords here uh, that have pregnancy in them. Yeah. All you got to do is get pregnant and be the center of attention again. <laughs> there you go. I see this is nothing but a, a very self-centered person. Mm -hmm. A very self-centered person. Yeah, you better be careful because this... Uh... Now he's coming in as the emperor. That's the emperor, y'all. And look, here's the hangman next to the emperor. So, I mean... Are you not showing him any love, any affection? Are you coming across uh, uh, not only showing up in the cards, but in his life as uh, oh you're, you're settling? Because wow. he, he's liable to think twice about this himself. Yeah, don't make him... Think but twice. there's no He's issue very... here with the marriage. There's no. no issue. You have no issue with the marriage. Four wands. You want what the marriage will bring you. The world four wands. This is such a great thing for someone. You need to put your big girl britches on and 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 do this thing and just try to relax and decide. Into it. You Make need a to decide. Yes. You need to decide. Is this what you want? Or is I it think, not what you want? I think that's what this whole first three cards right here, this Empress, Eight of Wands, and Judgment is like, make the, make the judgment call. You did, but you didn't let go of that moon. You didn't let go of this deep-seated thing. It's like your quest, yeah, to be the center of attention and all of that. So, you need to make up your mind. Because there is nothing presenting like a big, huge problem no, here. No, not at There's all. no problem. There's no real problem on your side. It's a glitch. So if this is you and you're wondering, why am I feeling so weird? This is such a great thing. Why am I feeling so weird? Go talk to somebody. Go. Go, go talk to your priest, your pastor. <clears throat> yeah, go someone. on a vision quest. Go find out what your problem is because there are no other problems here. If you're feeling like you just got handed, like, the best life, uh, you know. And you're willing to accept it. And you want it. And this other person truly does really care about you. And you are just dreaming of your future together. Both of y'all are dreaming of your future together. Money, home, stability, everything that you want. Travel, fun, love, everything. But you have this glitch. You need to go figure it out. You need to go figure it out before it becomes a really deep, ugly shadow that comes into, and it does this to you. Because all it's going to do is put you in chains, and you're going to literally have to be like Houdini to get out of this. You're, there's nothing bad here. You're just having major cold feet because... Like she said, you're used to being the center of attention. You're not used to sharing your space, your bed, your bathroom, your stuff. You don't want, you're, you like to do your own thing. You have so much independence in here, but this is a good thing for you. This is something, we're speaking about longevity. We're speaking about, you know, family, longevity, love, the things that people really can't live without. We are social creatures. And I think deep down you know that. Why am I pushing this away? I'm doing this thing where I just keep thinking and thinking and thinking of it. And I can't come to terms with the fact that I've, I've lost. Is it this old, old, old thing ideal that you have about yourself? Of being this whatever, whatever this one glitchy thing you have in your 
and your mental makeup, it's really holding you back. It's one thing. It's such a small part of it too. If you put it, I have a feeling if you talk to somebody and you put it in perspective, it would shrink it down to the fact that it was like, it was in the past, it's done, You're. it's done, it's over. Now you're going on to be a grown up and you're live a grown, That's a grown just what I was life. gonna say, you're a grown up now. You're a grown up now. You're not a kitty anymore, yeah. You have to share um, everything. And that's... It can't be all about you anymore. And I feel like it's always been all about you. The hardships you've gone through. People have said, oh, I don't know how she does it. How she wow. got through this. How she got through that. Look at this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you just have success, love, money, security, every the world. You got handed the world with this. Look at this. You can't really... You can't really argue with this. Look at the world. This is going to be your life. Your life is like, um, oh my gosh. This is so great, actually, whoever this is. Yeah, it is. There are about uh, 7 billion other people that would love to be in this type of thing, but you're just taking it for granted. You really are. You're taking it for granted. Because there's nothing bad here at all. There's no warnings. There's no... The no. only warning is like this mental glitchy thing that you have that is not... Um, you need to let it go. You need to let it go seriously. You need to find a way to let it go. Yeah. Talk with someone. Talk with someone. Do something mm -hmm. before yeah. you turn... A really good thing. <laughs> Down. You turn it around and, and, you, make this uh, and you lose it. You. Yeah. you lose it. Because you could lose everything here. Mm. You could lose everything. This is not the type of thing that comes along more than no, once in a lifetime. No. This like is I it. said, give it this to me. It, I'll right? take it. Or yeah. she'll take it. Seven billion um, other people. will take it. I mean, hell yeah. Uh, Marry somebody who's got some money and can take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> Just love, money, happiness, health. I know, it's all Longevity. Here. Kids, family. Kids, family, the white picket fence, so to speak, if people still say that. I don't know. Yeah. This is really good. I hope you... Um, you I hope you, you let that sort go. this out. Yeah, I whatever hope you sort it is. It out. Talk with someone. Mm, clear your head mm -hmm. before you spoil everything that's on the table for you. Clear your head. Get it out of your mind. Because you might not get this chance again. Mm -mm. No, this is not something that just comes along every day. Gee whiz. And like Jeez. I said, the cards are showing me it's all you, it's all in your head. You grew up. You've always been the center of attention for your family when you were growing up. Ever since, people have always looked to you. And I see people have looked and said, Oh my goodness, how does she endure all this? How does she get through all this? Maybe you had a hard life. Most of us have. Yeah, okay? everybody has a lot of hardships in life. It's, so, um... you just need to decide. <laughs> You need to talk with someone is what you need to do. Yeah, I think You need so. to see if you can uh, come to terms with yeah, whatever terms. it is. And if you can't, you want to be, I said it before, you want to be the center of attention again, have a baby. I mean, we got a baby here. Would it be the first She's woman fertile. who... fertile, yes. Who went on to, you know, take a really good thing and mess it up. Don't do that. If you play your cards right, this could be... A huge, wonderful, long, happy long, life. Long, long, because the long, king of rods, that yes. speaks stability. That yes, speaks it does. loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, so This could be a long, happy life for you so with if it, someone who yeah, loves you. If it resonates with you, take it, claim it, use it. Go see somebody, talk this out. Yeah, talk it out. Help yourself before it's too late. And you spoil a good thing. And if you do decide to spoil it, send him this way. She'll take him. <laughs> Rebound or not, it doesn't matter. She'll take him. Oh, All, yeah. right. <laughs> All right. Until our next read, may your yeah. moons always be full. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.